Good morning. I am Sylvia the Craft. Good morning. I am Sylvia the Crafty Old Lady, and it is a very gloomy day here in upstate New York. It is August, what is it? August uh, 9th, and uh, I think maybe we're seeing some effects from, is it Hurricane Debbie? But anyway, I hope that everyone is safe from Hurricane Debbie, and I'm praying for those who are in the path or were in the path. I'm not super sure what's going on with that, if it's coming or if it's been here already or what. But anyway, I have found this little journal at Dollar, uh, Dollar Tree, and I got it because I saw all the brightly colored papers and thought I could make a color glue book with this one a mini color glue book now it only has green I would call this yellow orange and pink so uh, I'm gonna start with my first page here and I found all these little green th things images that I can put in this first journal of or the first page of this new journal so let's figure out how we're gonna arrange them. I gotta get my blue paper out and my glue stick. And I was thinking of putting the grass across the bottom just like this. And I think that is exactly what I'm gonna do. I think I'm just going to put the glue on the page though. And there. Probably have a little more glue than is needed, but maybe not. Maybe it's exactly right. Is that right? Don't really have to trim anything off except here. So that's going to go there. Stinking M&M lady. There's a cabbage. Here's some asparagus. And then I have all these cute little things. A green apple. I'm going to, I think, cut out the middle of the, uh, these lanterns. Um, actually, I could just, I don't know. I don't want the white parts. I could just cut them off and draw them on, I suppose. But I have this little, I don't know, this is a salad spinner, I think. And a cute little green oven. So, that's everything. I think I'm going to actually not use the cabbage. Should we put a little app, maybe we'll put the asparagus down here. Like that. The apple. I don't know. The apple, I think, we'll put up here. The oven. Um, and there. I think that's good. But, like I said, I want to... I'm debating. I think I am just going to cut the handles off. I think that's the easiest thing to do. And then if I feel like drawing them on, I can do that. I hope you're all well, happy, and healthy. And enjoying your day. Okay, we'll put that there. <sighs> what, ha what are your plans for the weekend? Because this is Friday that I'm... Um, Recording this, it's a Friday, Friday, August 9th, and let's put this one on next, and uh, our daughter Bethany is coming for the weekend. I don't think we're doing anything special, except possibly maybe having a little cookout with our son and daughter-in-law who live nearby. I know Bethany really wants to. She really... <laughs> Mrs., uh, you know, the family reunion was last week, and 
She's missing everybody, I think. She wants to have a big party every weekend. <laughs> but unfortunately, that's just not how life is, is it? It's not always a party. Sometimes, life can be a little... Oh, I need to cut these little pieces out. Sometimes life is a little sad and disappointing, and I'm experiencing that right now. And, uh, so, yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to craft my blues away, but I don't think it's possible. Sometimes I don't think, um, you can always choose to be happy especially when you know your children ha have health issues <laughs> mental health issues or physical health issues uh, I don't know but that's life I guess right all right it's a little choppy but I wanted to be able to see the green of the paper through there. So let's put some glue back on her green peanut lady or green M&M lady. She's not a peanut one. <laughs> she is not a peanut M&M. Okay, there we go. The oven is going to go right here. Let's get this covered and out of the way before we get hurt on it. All right. Uh, oven's going there. I don't know. Do any of you out there battle with depression? I feel like there's probably more people than me. <laughs> Battling depression. Alright, let's put that there. The green apple is almost the same color as the background. <laughs> yes, I thank you so much for joining me and watching my videos and supporting my channel. I appreciate that very much. And tell me how you're doing. In the comments below. Let's see. Put that like that. And there, I think everything fits. I think I also want to find a cute sticker to put on the cover. I have some cute stickers that I'm going to look through. This is going to go here, like this, and this is going to go next to it. So that is my very first page in my color glue book. I didn't really want to cover up the salad spinner. <laughs> there. There we go. So that's that. I could take a little marker and make handles, the handles, but uh, I think I'm going to leave well enough alone. I need to cut this off. Are you seeing this? And, oops, cut some of the actual page off too. <laughs> Oh boy, what a mess. I made a mess out of that, but that's okay. <laughs> Alright, so now we'll do something with this. No, that's a book. <laughs> that's not stickers. Here's the stickers I was talking about. And I was specifically thinking of putting this one on the cover. I already used the rainbow. It's cloudy day now, so... Let's see how this looks on there. Is it too big? It's slightly too big. That's all right. Then we'll just cut a little bit of it off, I guess. That's cute. All right. 
I did the same thing. I cut too close. <laughs> I know why. I don't have my glasses on. Oh well. <sighs> I think it's just because of how I'm feeling. I'm just feeling kind of blah and I don't know. Fuzzy maybe? Disjointed? I don't know how to explain it I guess. Anyway, I think that's going to be it for today. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you're all doing well. Stay tuned for more glue book color pages. And we'll see you again next time. Bye-bye.